Hi, welcome. Today, I would like to talk a little bit about pleasure and joy. What gives you pleasure? What parts of your life, of the world, of the surroundings in your life, give you joy and pleasure? And my invitation to you today is to make an appointment with yourself to focus for one day uh, on the things during the day, during your everyday life that you actually like. It doesn't have to be large things, it can be small things. Uh, it can be brushing your teeth. Uh, some people like that. It can be taking a shower. Uh, it can be having that cup of tea or coffee in the morning. Uh, I've talked about enjoying that first sip. It can be uh, anything, anything in your life because chances are that you, during your life, just like me and like most of us, we go through our every days just doing things and we don't really think about whether we enjoy them or not. A lot of them are chores and by default, we have an aversion against chores. We're not supposed to enjoy chores because they're, they're duty. Well, you can enjoy them. If you do enjoy cleaning a house, why not make a note that that's what you enjoy? And especially if you put on some loud music that you enjoy and do it, do it with the music. You can make a chore into something you enjoy. But the exercise that I would like to invite you to do for yourself this time is not to change the things that you're doing and not necessarily to make the things you don't like into things that you do like, like I just mentioned. That would be a next video maybe. Um, but for now, just notice. Uh, you can write it down if you like, but I find that the moment I have to journal anything, I, I end up not doing it. So it's also a practice of being present. So just invite yourself, make an appointment with yourself today or tomorrow or one day this week. You're going to go through the day and you're going to be a little bit curious about the things that you do, the things that you fill your day with, uh, the things, the people that come to you, um, chores, not chores, anything. No, the way you breathe. Do you enjoy breathing? Do you enjoy going out of the door in the morning? Do you enjoy that cup of coffee in the morning? Do you enjoy getting up or not? Do you enjoy setting your alarm to snooze and snuggling a little bit extra? I do. Um, do you, and, 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 and you know, just notice, do you enjoy that? Uh, and try to see beyond, because Take that, for example, snoozing, uh, snuggling in for an ex extra 10 minutes. There's always a little bit of a pull. Oh, I should. I should get up. I should. But do you enjoy that snuggle? That's probably why you're doing it. Just notice behind it all. Do you actually really enjoy it? And, and do you enjoy talking to people or do you enjoy being by yourself? Do you enjoy reading? Do you enjoy what? What do you enjoy? What? What? tastes and smells and sensations give you joy enjoy and i invite you to do this for one reason only or mainly to raise your vibration to make your life a more joyful life and you don't need to do anything you just need to give it a little attention what you give energy to, you re-energize. So when we focus on our pains or our troubles or our difficulties and how difficult, how boring our chores are, we give that energy in a negative way. We can change that. But we don't need to change it all in one. We don't need to shift our days into a suddenly a day only filled with joyful things. There are things that you don't really need to enjoy. Just do them, but give focus to the things that you do enjoy. And the other things will just, you'll just do them. And slowly, if you do this, say, you can start once a week, or you can try and do it every day. And, and if you lose track of it a little bit, maybe you'll come back to it. But just give yourself this little exploration, this curiosity, use your curiosity as to what is it that you really enjoy. You probably know it, but some things might surprise you. Um, some people also like to write long lists of everything they enjoy. Just sit down and think through, you can do that. But this is more 
in tune with the video that I did about being present, about bringing yourself into this moment. What, what, what am I doing now? For instance, now in this moment, when I'm doing this video, am I enjoying it? Yes, I am. I love doing this. Um, I just noticed that I love doing it. I'm setting up for this. Uh, there's a bit of a setup. Do I enjoy it? Yes, I do. Uh, I had to ask myself this question because this was the theme of the video. So I need to live it, don't I? And so, um, anything and, and, and if eventually you will notice that you'll start shifting, you start shifting the days that you, the things that you fill your days with into including more and more of what you enjoy, because you can be, it becomes an addiction in a way, just like we're now, um, by default, because we're taught to, and because this has been the history of humanity for many, 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 many centuries, is to focus on what's wrong, um, what's painful, um, through religion, whatever it is that's sort of taught us this. And so this has become almost an addiction. We can shift the addiction. And you just do it, just observe. Don't judge yourself. If you can't find anything in the day that you're not enjoying, it's very, very powerful information to you. Then you can start exploring. What do you enjoy? Do you enjoy a flower? What, looking at a flower? Do you enjoy watching a film? Which film do you really enjoy? Be honest with yourself. Not because somebody else thinks it's good to like that kind of films. You know, just enjoy the films that you like, the music that you like. Explore it for yourself and eventually you will start to share it with other people and they will start to see who you really are. You'll become more authentic as well. And it's a beautiful gift to yourself, to your surroundings, to this world. And you will start to raise your vibration and radiate, radiate beautiful joy to people around you. What better way to create world peace? Let's, let's go all the way there, huh? What if everybody did this? It would be a beautiful world. So this was my humble imitation to you um, based on my own experience. I don't always remember to do this. Sometimes I get sort of caught up and have to and things are a little difficult. And then, but what do I enjoy? And more and more, it, it, I get reminded of this and I remind myself and it becomes more of a daily routine for me to remember these things. And even if you can't, have everything that you enjoy if you have a list you can't have them in the moment for instance a hug with a friend because of the situation we're in with the virus imagine that hug imagine what it will be like to hug that person once you can and hug the people that are in your house if you if you're living with somebody or hug yourself it's a beautiful feeling okay my dears that was it for today and i will probably follow up with a video on this same theme about uh, how we can we can shift the way we focus on things a little bit, um, the way we, uh, what attention we bring into anything that we do. But that's another video. I just wanted to share this with you today. And I wish you a beautiful day exploring your delights. Take care. Many blessings. Bye-bye.